Hey everyone, I'm back y'all with another reading. So yes, we're going to jump into it. Um, we're going to use the Millennial Oracle deck here. And we're going to get a collective read, okay? All right, give me a message for the collective, please. Please. Give me a message for the collective. Give me a message. All right, Spirit, what does the collective need to know? What's coming towards the collective? is going around okay so it's some juicy information some gossip and some gossip going around okay the gossip is ooh, okay so the gossip is How you have turned into a savage, ruthless. You're not holding back. You're being confident in yourself. Okay, so it looks like people mis mis mistake you for being um mistake you for being soft or soft spoken, weak, not. Not uh, taking up for yourself. They were fooled. They were fooled. Okay. Um, this person or p group of people, they're very suspicious. Because they're trying to figure out where did this energy come from? Is you, Are you capping? Is it lies? Are you faking? Are you doing it for the internet? Are you doing it for attention? Are you doing it to become popular? Are you doing it to try to catch a big break? Whatever this is, I feel like it's a group of people. It's the information that's circulating around. Like It's the talk of the city. It's a lot of gossip. Okay, there's something that you're doing that you're getting a lot of recognition for, that you're known for, and you're playing your cards the right way. Okay, you're playing you playing that hand that was dealt. Yeah, you've been slaying. You've been slaying, honey. You've been slaying. Okay. And it looks like, like, mm, all this love bombing that's going on. It's goals, or it was goals at one point, but I feel like right now, a lot of y'all may be feeling like, yeah, mm, the dating pool is kind of, it ain't no kind of, it's filthy. So, yeah, I'm going I'm to go ahead and leave that, you know, leave that there and focus on something else. Whatever it is that you're focusing on, it looks like a lot of y'all are focused on yourself. It looks like... A lot of y'all are succeeding in whatever it is that you're doing. You're succeeding. You're dominating your competitor. You're on point and you're doing an amazing job. Whatever it is, you're getting a lot of recognition for it. Okay. This could be a business. This could be um, something that you've been working towards. This could be something in your career. Whatever it is, you're getting a lot of recognition for it. You're being gassed. Look, goals here at the bottom of the deck. You are accomplishing some type of goal. Whatever it is, you're doing something very well. You're hitting your target every time. I feel like some of y'all feel like you could have got finessed before. Behind following some type of trend. 
Okay, following some type of trend. It's like, yeah, we're going to leave that in 2021. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that in 2020. We ain't doing that in 2021. We going to leave that in 2021. We ain't doing that in 2022. Excuse me. It's canceled. Whatever trend that was going on is canceled. Okay, it's canceled. Whatever finesse was going on, and it's canceled. Whatever, if a person be, has been breadcrumbing you, that's, that shit is over with. It won't happen no more. See, yes, yeah, see, for some of you, it is in regards to a connection. Okay, so it looks like relationship goals is what I'm seeing. Relationship goals. Somebody been getting away with breadcrumbing you. Somebody been getting away with breadcrumbing you, giving you the lease, and you like not this, not in 2022, not in 2022, not even. Yep, I'm telling you, I'm getting relationship goals. Okay, so this is shipping. They believe in a relationship. Uh, wish you stay together, root for the partnership. So y'all been getting a lot of hearts and likes, possibly like on pictures, people rooting for y'all relationship. I'm hearing relationship goals. I'm hearing relationship goals. And that's not for everybody. But some people are slaying whatever other goal it is. But for some people, it is relationship goals. Okay? Because see, look, yeah. Shook and Insta famous. So this could be going on online on Instagram or Facebook or whatever social media site that you use. Y'all got a lot of people shocked, can't believe it, caught off guard, speechless, surprised, because it looks like y'all getting in a lot of public recognition and y'all got the spotlight. Y'all got a lot of people talking about y'all. I feel like there was some type of struggle. Somebody was throwing shade. Um, it could have been somebody real basic. Like, you like, okay, what you, whatever you're doing is basic. They could have been, your person could have been trying you with somebody basic. And you like, nah, that ain't even, we not doing that in 2022. Whatever, um, little basic, little pieces, side pieces, whatever. Whatever that is. That is not coming into look. I'm blessed. You've been blessing this person. A lot of y'all been staying home, um, and not wearing makeup, not putting on makeup, not giving it your all because you was dealing with something. You was dealing with something in this connection with this person. But now I feel like that's over with. It's clapback season. So somebody could be getting put on bless. Um, okay, so I'm getting a digital detox. So maybe you're trying to clean up your social network. You're trying to have a more balance and be more real um, about things on social media. Some of y'all are disconnected so you can regroup. But it looks like there was like some type of party. You and this person could be partying a lot together. Okay, somebody, somebody is getting ghosted. So the goal could be for somebody to leave a situation or a person and ghost them. That's the goal. Cause we got goals, bounce, and ghosted. Um, somebody definitely could be swerving into another lane, changing directions. Some somebody's leaving somebody behind for someone else, and it it needs to, maybe you want this person to put it out publicly because we got being publicly embarrassed, personal business exposed, exposing secrets being called out. So there could be, and then we got turned. So this is a state of being wild, acting wildly, drugs, alcohol, sex at a crazy party, drunk and excited. So I feel like some there could have been some type of um, party. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm getting like somebody could have been trying to put somebody on blast, publicly embarrass someone because somebody got ghosted, somebody got left. And who then I feel like you're not sorry about this neither. So somebody could have left somebody else to come be with you. Now you and this person is relationship goes and you're not sorry about it at all neither because you feel like this energy right here, this um expressing your sexuality, shaming, feeling judged, all of that energy, this energy right here is canceled. This thought energy is canceled. Okay, that energy is going to be left in 2021. That energy can't come in into the new year. Yeah, it's like you can't get with that trend. You just like, no, I'm not getting with this trend. I can't follow that trend. Just because it's something that's going on online, that don't mean that that's what I'm finna do. That's not going to be what, how I'm going to do things. So you're going to either jump on board with this or you're going to get left. So what you want to do? This is T. And you said what you said. <laughs> Why is finesse here? Okay, so you could have got finesse. In this love in this love situation. I feel like you got unconditional love with this person. Um, the passion is there, the attraction is there. You want things to go to a more stable, you want this connection to be more stable. Cause you feel like you got stabbed in your in the back by some by some side pieces or some little some little thotties that, you know, may have a better shape, may have a better it's all in like a sexual seductive way. You may feel like you done got stabbed too many times in the back by this type of energy. You want to sabotage this. You want to sabotage this. Somebody got an addiction. You got an addiction or you're addicted to this person or the person that you are dealing with has this type of addiction they're addicted to like um instagram models and things of that nature why is gas here show me why gas is here the golden mirror all right so lots of love bombing here um i feel like I feel like a situation that was once one-sided is now being flipped around. Like the narrative is changing. Okay, the truth is coming out about a situation. Like if somebody had you in situations that they weren't telling the truth about you and this person's connection, the truth is coming out. Why is well played here? I feel like you're breaking, okay, you're breaking someone's pattern. I feel like the person that you could have been dealing with has like a porn addiction or they have like some type of addiction to slutty type of females um, or females that over-sexualize themselves. I feel like you're trying to break that pattern. Not trying to. You have broke this person's pattern. Okay, now we got slay. Okay, this person could have been dealing from trying to heal from some type of heartbreak from a relationship in the past. Um, and once again, they got freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. So this person over here is trying to do some healing. Okay, maybe you're trying to help heal this person from their toxic ways and what they dealt with in the past. I feel like this person was breadcrumbing you. Yeah, those days are over. We got the Phoenix. This is a new phase going into a brand new year. This is a brand new phase, okay? This person could have been wearing a mask. This person is wearing a mask. 
and it's like the bread coming giving me the the little pieces or giving me the shit in other stick that is open. Yep. So this person could have posted a picture. You and this person could have person posted a picture together, and it's like. It's a lot of gossiping going on about it. It's a lot of talking going on about it. Lots of talking, okay? Lots of gossiping. So, y'all are being talked about. I'm not even going to lie. Somebody's trying to get over a heartbreak by dating someone else. We got a boat, heartbroken date. This person is trying, this person could be, could have brought you into their life because they were trying to get over. So, I'm, I'm getting... I'm just be honest. I'm getting like rebound energy. But this person ended up falling for you. Y'all ended up falling for each other. Twin flames type of energy. Y'all balance each other out. Y'all are com complimenting each other. Y'all on the same page. Um, but the thing about this is, this was a big risk. You took a chance on this and you being strategic on how you moving. Okay, so... I see a lot of gossiping going on. Shipping. I feel like, um, yep. And see, people didn't think that this relationship was going to go to the next level because this person could, that you're dealing with could have been a runner. Like, they run away. Like, they, they throw rocks and then they hide their hands. They do stuff and then they run away. Like, they run away from love because this person loves to wear a mask. Yeah, see, the struggle was real last year because this person had a whole bunch of other options. But you feel like you and this person are soulmates. I feel like you ain't getting no ring yet because we got the Grim Reaper and engagement ring. I feel like you ain't getting the ring yet. I feel like you want to, you, you really at the point where you like, I should have been and got a ring by now. You feel like this person is your twin flame. But you guys could, you feel like this person is a run, is running away from the connection or they were running away from the connection. And this is something you want. You want stability. You want a ring. You want the next level. Um, and you're trying to stop patterns. Like you're, you're breaking cycles, patterns from that your partner has been showing you. Like they've been showing you inconsistency they've been showing you that there's other they have other options they've been showing you that they have all these addictions like and you like not in 2022 we're not bringing that energy in 2022 okay we're not we're not we're just not going to do it we're not going to do it all right so let's get your person's energy and see what it is that what actions they're going to be taking are they going to be taking this serious are they going to do what's necessary to make the relationship work because i feel like this is a connection that's actually being built work on like i'm getting like building like i see an actual person building someone up like build a bear type energy i'm just being honest so let's see Yeah, so this person, uh, once they they decided that the best thing for them to do is be more honest and upfront and tell the truth. I feel like they are juggling or they were talking to multiple people. Um, they regretted their decision. So they tried to separate themselves. But um, they try to separate themselves. They are, I feel like they regretted some type of decision that they made. But it looks like they run back to this particular female here. It's a particular female here because they got three of wands, knight of swords, and the empress. There's this female that they particularly, particularly run back to. Or they feel like they have to have a female to run back to. Um... This person is strategic as hell, too, because 
they they want people to see y'all together. Like I'm getting like there was like maybe like a New Year's uh uh post tag somebody they tagged your name or a picture that it looks like it was definitely publicly post posted online because it's a lot of spying going on. Now they took this risk. Because they want to see who was going to get upset about it. Who was going to get upset. Who has something to say. And another thing too. That I'm seeing as well too. This person could have changed the settings. Blocked certain people from seeing the post. Because I got the nine of wands and the two of swords. That's kind of like giving me blocking out energy. Because they felt like. It's gonna be a lot of hating going on. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna it's gonna cause a lot of confusion. And they just switched up. They just switched up on a lot of people. They just went by them telling the world the truth. They just switched up on a lot of people, and they know ain't nobody really gonna fuck with them like that. Once this gets out, yep. This person knows that everybody that they was dealing with, once that truth got out. Everybody was going to turn their back on them. Everybody was going to leave. Okay, so somebody, somebody, it's a female here that was waiting for the truth to get out. This could be you. You were waiting for them to tell the truth. Um, but I feel like it's somebody. It could be somebody else that's been trying to get back in their energy. Or they were trying to get back in this person's energy. But it's like. Once that truth get out. They know that it's over with. Yep. Eight of Swords in the world. They are thinking that this person is like, they're done. They're done. They know that they fucked up. They know that they fucked up. So, it's somebody that they always run back to. That been, they've been trying to get back in their energy. Or vice versa. But they, you could apply pressure to this situation and made them tell the truth. You made this person tell the truth. This person may have been behaving like they single. We got the we got the King of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. This person has been behaving like a single woman, single man, and the truth is now being revealed. They know that a bunch of people going to be mad at them. This other person in the picture... They could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They could be waiting, especially Cancer. They could have been waiting for this energy to say something. Okay? So, the person that they could have been going back and forth to could have been a water sign. But, see, this is... They wanted to be able to go back and forth with this possible... It looks like a water sign could be a Pisces. Definitely getting Pisces with this hangman energy here. Yeah, three of wands. They are actually sitting here waiting on the water sign to contact them about about it and ask possibly like, are you single or not? Are you single or not? Yep, bringing up the past. This person still deals with their past. Like they still have issues with their past. They could have gave you an offer. And I got the strength card here. Could be a Leo. You could be a Leo. They gave you this offer. They gave you a dirty offer. I'm just going to be honest. They gave you a dirty offer. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Five of Swords. They gave you this dirty offer. And it looks like it was something that was like quick. It was a quick decision that was made. Like 
this person did something and then ran back to you and gave you this dirty ass offer they may have wanted to be able to go back and forth between you and possibly this water sign so you decided that look you're gonna have to tell the truth the truth about to come out queen of swords sun and the moon this is definitely exposed energy okay so you could have wanted this person either to you was about to expose this person it's like you gonna tell it or i'm gonna tell it This person is stuck in their head. They're not sure how to move forward or how they're going to deal with a third party. I'm getting a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, we got the Empress, Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. Why is this person stuck? Tell me more. Who is this person stuck? Why does why? Yep, they're not sure how to move forward. They're not sure how to move forward because they're still they have unfinished business with their past. I feel like this person definitely wants to change their image. They want to come off as a good a good guy now. So they're trying to make it seem like um they're not a they're not sneaky no more. They're not sneaking around no more. So this person trying to change their image. They're not even really sure how to move forward. For some reason, they're stuck in their head about how they're going to move forward. Queen of Swords, King of Swords, definitely matching, mirroring each other's energy. Person gonna end up regretting that something ended. They feel like they should have had more patience, but this shifts. I'm getting a big shift. They have to block certain people out that they really don't want to block out. They have to not communicate with people that they really want to communicate with. And honestly, to be truthful, this is a situation to where they could revert back to their old ways because it wasn't really something that they really wanted to do. Because they're very uncertain about how they want to move forward. And then they're having regrets about a situation ending. They had to close the chapter. What goes around comes around. World and justice. What goes around comes around. So they're getting their karma. They're getting their karma. Because they are dealing with, I don't know, are you a fire sign? This person is, they're waiting for a water sign to contact them and ask them, are they single or not? Or they're going to tell this water sign, they want to tell this water sign that they are single, that they're a single man, King Cups. That they're just friends, that they're just friends with you. 
But the thing, the challenge is, is that they done told, they done put it out there, the whole world, everybody done seen the truth. So how they feel like they gonna be able to tell this water sign that y'all just friends when everybody see the truth? This person, be careful with, with all the energy that you're putting into this situation. Because simply because I just feel like this person ain't really they didn't really want to move like that at this time. They're looking at trying to clean up their image. I feel like this person doing this for an image because everybody else saying what they gonna do for New Year's and yada da 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 how it makes them look like that ain't even really what they really they wouldn't have did it if I feel like they wouldn't have did it if you wouldn't have put apply that pressure. That's just what I'm getting. Like, what does this person want to say to the collective? Send me love and healing. I am struggling. So they over there struggling. They struggling in their situation. Will you wait for me? I told you. I told you this person is sitting there waiting. This person, I feel like, I feel like this person is struggling. They need your energy. They need your loving and healing energy. But they got somebody that they are waiting on. They got somebody that they're waiting on to reach out to them. They're waiting for somebody to contact them. My higher self is trying to contact you. I just told you that. Telling you. I feel like they got somebody that they're waiting on to reach out to them. Or them reaching out. Somebody is waiting. In the cut. Somebody is waiting in the cut. Somebody is waiting. Who's waiting? Listen, I'm here and give you what you want for now. I'm here and work on it. We're working on it. I'm getting an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But somebody's giving something a try because of the benefit. They really want to take things slow. Um, they got somebody waiting in the cut. It's somebody waiting in the cut. It's I'm seeing somebody saying, find out the hermit and the six of swords. It's like if such and such find out, could be a Libra. Queen of swords could definitely be a Libra. I told you this person juggling. This person is juggling. They're juggling. They're juggling. They're juggling. They got a plan. They plotting. They got a plot, a plan. Something that they're working towards. They are collabing with other people. They got a certain goal in mind that they're trying to reach. And they are collabing with other people. I'm just getting it. Now, this is a warning. This is just a warning to y'all to make sure that you are in, that you're investing and in putting your energy into the right situation. Okay? So, that's the message that I got for the collective. If this message resonated, guys, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share with your family and your friends. All right? Until next time. Ciao.